Oh, there goes my phone. I somehow always choose streets that look like they're going to be completely empty and then end up being like the busiest streets to vlog on. Welcome to moving vlog number one. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Check out my moving announcement video. It goes into everything, where I'm moving, what's happening, all the details. So I'm going to link that video in the eye and down below. And so I am on the way to Home Depot to get some moving boxes. I need moving boxes and trash bags, like the big, you know, hefty thick kind of ones. I like to move some of my stuff in trash bags. Just certain things like clothes. I don't know. I've just always done that. The closet situation when you move is always different. And so usually I end up having to like refold and wash things and stuff when I get there anyways. So I just find that moving clothes in trash bags especially is the easiest thing for me. So that's usually how I do clothes. And then shoes I usually do in boxes, whatever. We're going to do all this Sorry, my middle console's a little bit squeaky. I've still been avoiding going into stores whenever I can. I looked to see if I could like Postmates these and I could not. So I am just gonna wear my mask obviously and make it speedy. But it's the beginning of October when I'm starting doing all this. You guys are seeing everything kind of, you know, delayed a couple weeks, but I got a lot of stuff on my to-do list today. By the way, car lighting is not the most flattering for a show of makeup, but I just did like the most minimal all cream makeup today. I used my Haley's Beauty BB Drops, put on my Becca under eye corrector. I love that for just like brightening. The CoverGirl cream blush that I showed in my glass skin video and the Flesh Startle cream highlight and just a little foundation on my lips. <laughs> and then my Urban Decay brow blade. But let's go to the homiest of depots, shall we? I just picked up a little acai bowl. I get one that has like peanut butter, but it has the PB powder, so it's super good because it's not like pure peanut butter. They just kind of like mix it in. So good. Okay, so I didn't get everything out of the car yet. I got some like storage containers and stuff too, but I ended up getting, this was like the smallest thing of this size of, of trash bags that they had. There's 50 in here. So I think it wouldn't be a set on trash bags for life, but they actually had really good deals on like this many trash bags. And then I just got, I got a bunch of moving boxes. The rest of them are in the car. So here's my closet. Here's the rest of my closet. Ooh, <laughs> got a lot up there. And then I also have a section of clothes in this part of my, this is where I have all like my makeup in this part, but then in here I have nail polish down there and then like dresses and stuff in here. And then I have obviously these two, but I'm still gonna be filming. So I'm probably gonna leave this up as just like, you know, background. And then I have like filming shirts in there, shoes in there, more clothes down there. Some more clothes down there. This is a total wreck. <laughs> so because I'm just dumping things, it should be pretty quick. I also had to pack a suitcase because I'm going to Oregon uh, for a doctor's appointment, but we're gonna be there for like a week. So I packed a suitcase for that. And then also I'm just gonna be doing laundry while we're there and basically using this suitcase as my like moving suitcase. I always like to pack a suitcase whenever I move because you never know like just, you know, how quick you're gonna be able to unpack your closet and things like that. So it's just easier to kind of have like a suitcase to kind of live out of for a little bit. So I did that last night. I'm not supposed to lift over basically like two pounds and any kind of like, repetitive motion and even just washing my hair usually causes the flare up, especially if I'm like lifting over like here. So I am getting help packing. I didn't know this, but I always thought there were like separate packing and moving services, but basically most movers do packing in the same day as moving. They just like charge it within their hourly, is this over the camera? No, they just charge it within the hourly rate or whatever and actually if you do the math it actually ends up being cheaper if you hire four guys or girls whoever's moving <laughs> it's usually guys um if you hire four people versus two people it's because four people can work so much faster than two people even though the hourly is higher the cost at the end should be way lower so i'm actually just hiring four guys to pack and move but i'm packing like the easy things myself like the clothes and things like that that 
I don't really care about how it's packed, but like the makeup stuff, the kitchen stuff, like just kind of heavier, more fragile items, like things like that. And I'm going to get help packing all in one day, but anything that I can pack since it is by the hour, I'm going to do it. It's really the filming room that I'm like most concerned about because there's a lot of shit in here and I don't know. I don't know if I've ever packed something like this before, but I'm gonna obviously f break down like all the lights and stuff myself. My boyfriend's gonna help me with that. And then I'm gonna like wrap up, like bubble wrap all the lenses and just bring like all the camera equipment over myself. <laughs> The only tape I have that is not clear is this heart tape. So, heart tape it is. Spreading the love, you know? One trash bag at a time. I'll probably keep these built for now in case I want to use them to like put anything else in. At this rate, you know what? I might use all 50 of these. I'm making breakfast for a very late lunch or whatever meal this is. It's like <laughs> 3 o'clock right now. I just have some eggs going, veggie bacon, and toast, but I just have to show you guys this. I accidentally ordered, <laughs> I don't even know if it's gonna do it justice, this butter, the Smart Balance, is massive. I feel like you can't even tell. It's so big, you guys. It's gonna take me my entire life to go through this thing. I thought I was getting just the normal size, but uh, got it on Instacart. Apparently I did not. I'm having liner right now. And then gonna continue with the packing, but making some really good progress. I'm probably gonna burn the crap out of my eggs as I go show you this, but here we go. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, everything is literally just piled in the corner, but I definitely had more clothes than I thought. This is also like purses, towels, uh, jackets, like pretty much everything. I made some major progress. This took me a few hours. It's always shocking how long things take. You think it's gonna be faster and you could just like power through and then it just takes forever. Still not done in here. I still have to go through like underwear bras. I need to get rid of a lot of stuff and just clean it out. I kept a few more things out uh, just in case, like a couple jackets, PJs and stuff, but all of these bins are totally cleared out. Down there is gone. Everything else is cleared out. These are just like socks and stuff I still need to go through. Still have to go through the shoes, but all of the jackets are done. This is all cleared out. Okay, I feel like those eggs are definitely burning. The chest is all cleared out. So I cleared out all of the backpacks, purses, everything, donated a ton of stuff. And I got rid of like a huge, two huge trash bags worth of donations as well. Ooh, look at those eggs. We're doing good. Okay, I need to eat them, about to pass out. There's a few decor pieces in here that I know I'm not taking, like this one I'm gonna donate. I'm debating on this one, but I think I'm gonna just keep it for now. I can always donate more once I get there. And then also I'm gonna kind of like see how this goes in. I'm not really into the cactus vibe anymore, but I'll probably just bring it and then again, see if I have find anywhere to put it. I don't know if I wanna keep this piece in my bathroom. Again, it might be one of those things that goes and then We'll see how it looks in there. I'd rather kind of do that and then decide, then get rid of too much and then be like, oh crap, I wish I brought that, you know? It's a little bit too like mid-century than I'm going for. So I am giving a lot of stuff to Rach too. So we'll see if she wants that. I have hit a very large wall, folks. And I'm craving Chipotle, but I'm trying not to get Chipotle because I got that acai earlier and I feel like I should just make food. I feel like I've made progress today, but at the same time, I feel like I didn't make that much progress. But then when I think about all of the clothes in my closet, I'm like, yeah, I made progress, I guess. What I need to do is I need to make a list. I need to make a list of all the things that I need to do before the packers pack and all the things that I wanna pack myself. It seems like I'm starting this early, but I'm really not because I leave in three days for Oregon. And then but when I come back from Oregon, I have, whole, wait, four or five whole days before they come, but that's super unpredictable because I'm, I'm usually not functioning all those days. So it's it's really like <laughs> probably one, one, I can count on one day really. I actually really uh gotta get going on this, you know? Hmm, my hair smells good. I did try that Miss Jessie's curl product that I showed in one of my, or I think it was my last vlog. And I really like it. It's, my hair's not looking great. <laughs> It's been a couple days since I did that and then I've like, you know, slept on it and I never actually like styled it. But the morning after, like when I woke up from it, I had some nice 
wave curl definition. I'm gonna try and get a second wind here. I might just have some, it's like almost too late for matcha I feel like, but I might have some matcha and then finish up the closet, like just the bras and socks and underwear and stuff like that. Then also my new sheets came, so I'm gonna show you guys that. Well, wow. <laughs> if I ever looked better. Oh, another package maybe. Okay, all three of the packages I ordered came, which is wild because I ordered all of these yesterday and only one was from Amazon. The other was from JCPenney. So they just had really fast shipping. So let me show you the sheets. So nothing too thrilling here, just black sheets, but these are from the brand Nestle and I wanted to try these ones because I looked at my Amazon orders and they actually are the brand that made my favorite duvet cover that I have. One that I got a couple years ago on Amazon is so soft and it was from this brand. So I just, you know, wanted to get their sheets. So hopefully I have a good experience with their sheets. Ooh, it's feel nice and soft. I'm, I'm real particular with my uh, fabrics. I don't like them to be like too warm feeling, you know? I get really hot at night when I sleep, but super weird. There's no full-sized black duvet covers. Like it's very difficult to find. I found one on Target and one on Bed Bath & Beyond, but they didn't have very good reviews. And then all the ones on Amazon either don't come in full size or have really crappy reviews. I might end up doing black sheets with just keeping my white duvet and then either doing big black pillows or just having black sheets and then white everything else. And then I wanted to order all new towels. So Liz Claiborne, I think was the brand I ended up getting because they were having an amazing sale on these. They were like 40% off on JCPenney and they had really good reviews and like thousands of reviews on these. And people said they felt like super plush and soft. So my last towels I got were from Target, like I think a few years ago. And I just figured it was time to kind of I don't know, get new ones. And also people are like afraid of white. It's really funny. Like anytime I post my couch on Instagram, people are like, I could never have white couch or like sheets. Like I could never have white sheets. But the thing is you can bleach white. It's actually like so much easier to keep clean than other things because you can just throw bleach on it and like self tanner, hair dye, like everything I've ever gotten on white comes out. And I actually put a cover over my couch. So I have like a mattress topper on top of my couch to make it really comfy. And then I put a sheet over it and just like tuck it in really tight. And then I just take that sheet off, bleach it. And then I never have to worry about actually staining my couch. Ooh, these are soft. These are nice and they're not too heavy. I don't like super heavy towels. So yeah, these are the Liz Claiborne Signature Plush Towels. I like these. These actually feel like the perfect weight. I'm excited about these. So I got four of these. I got the hand towels. I don't use washcloths. Does anyone else like that? I just feel like they're really gross. Like they just sit there and get wet. I don't know. Some about a washcloth. I've just like never been into washcloths. White towels, you know, you can just bleach them and then they stay clean anytime they get stained. Just throw a little bleach on it. And I'm definitely keeping my couch. I actually love my couch now that I have the topper on it and stuff. It's super comfy. It, it's a futon. So it, down into a bed too so it's good for when people stay over and stuff but i'm bringing my couch i am getting rid of a couple of the pillows that are kind of like more boho-y like that macrame one and stuff um but everything else is gonna stay and then i'll show you guys probably in this vlog the furniture that i'm gonna be selling i have a whole bag of poshmark stuff here on the floor but i am gonna be just holding on and bringing the poshmark stuff because i literally have like probably 40 to 50 items in there that i'm listing on my poshmark so there's definitely not time for me to do that before the move. So I'm just going to bring all the Poshmark orders with me, list those at some point once I, once I move and get settled and stuff. My Poshmark is my old username, the Taylor. Just took a little thumbnail. I gotta get some kind of caffeine in me, folks. Maybe I'll just put some like good pump up music or something on. I could go for some Wiz Khalifa right now. I am going to be selling the thing above my couch because it just doesn't really go with the vibe of the place the new place. I am selling the rug. And then I think I'm also, I don't know. I think I'm going to bring the coffee table over and see how it looks. This is one of my favorite combos. I do the Thrive Ginger Turmeric Tea. And then I put in a tiny little teaspoon of actual raw ginger powder that I got off of Amazon. I put like 
way too much in the first couple times I used that. You need like a really tiny amount of raw ginger or else you're gonna be like really uh, coughing and sniffling. And then the blessing on earth, Trebani coffee creamer, pumpkin spice, the best, the best. They also make an oat milk version of this if you would like that more. This combo is just so good for fall. There's no caffeine in this little combo, but I'm just telling myself there is, okay. I don't know why, but my old Keurig never used to splash and like create a mess here, but literally I wipe this down every day and it always splashes. Back in the moving layer we go. Okay, the moving is continuing. The filming is continuing. It's a couple days later. All my vlogs are spread out over like weeks usually of footage. So, uh, yep, I'm very stressed. <laughs> I was already having a really hard time keeping up with my schedule just with everything else going on before moving. And now, whoa, my throat. <laughs> and now with this on top of it, and then uh, I'm leaving for Oregon tomorrow now. I got two videos filmed today, so that was good. Thank God, because I was getting behind. But yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to pack for Oregon right now. I'm trying to pack for the move and then filming. Hopefully I'm planning on being able to film hopefully three videos in Oregon. So I just put like all the makeup in little baggies. So I know hopefully I have everything I need for those videos. I just wasn't able to film those before. And then when I come back, I'll have like a few days before the move. So it's all just happening real quick, but I figured I would show you guys some empties because I decided, you know what, this move of not bringing my trash. <laughs> I just filmed an empties video and most moves, I bring my trash, I bring my empties, but I, since I just filmed one and I only have like five things here, but they're like pretty bulky, I'm just gonna show you my empties right now so I can toss them. So. Here are a few empties for you. So first thing, I have this Native Body Wash. This is the Cotton and Cedarwood. I mentioned this in my last empties video, I'm pretty sure, but I had a different scent. This one is fine. It's like just kind of a standard body wash. I don't think I would say you need to go run out and you know buy it. I would definitely recommend the Olay Body Wash over this. I think Olay just moisturizes my body more. This one's totally fine. Like it's not a bad body wash. I like the packaging, you know, very sleek. Next, I used up a CoverGirl Lash Blash Active. This was in my like overnight bag at my boyfriend's place. And this one, I was using on my lower lashes for a while before I discovered the MAC uh, Gig Black Lash. It's not like a super small one, but it just has a rubbery one. It doesn't transfer down, which is why I was using it for the lower lashes. I definitely prefer the MAC one over this. So I'm just gonna keep using the MAC one. This one was just like a in-between when my Wet n Wild got discontinued. Oh my God. Totally forgot to include Wet n Wild in a video I just filmed. Next, I have this prebiotic moisturizing hand soap from Tom. So I got this in PR. I really did not like this. It left like the weirdest film on your hands. It didn't lather up and it didn't like totally rinse off. It just left this really gross film. So it smelled good. It was like peppermint scented and we have it on my boyfriend's place too. So we're like both trying to go through it, but I, yeah, I just really didn't enjoy the film that it left on your hands. Now that I'm moving, the dishwasher pack saga will be over, hopefully. <laughs> but I've talked about this in my past empties videos. I just have been like trying to find the best dishwasher pods for my dishwasher. Someone commented and said, maybe I just need liquid dishwasher detergent. Maybe that's the case. But these ones I noticed did melt better than the other ones. I haven't been having issues with these ones like stick or anything. And then last up, thank God I finally used up this horrific smelling cleaner. This is the seventh generation multi-surface cleaner. Oh my God, this smells so gross. I will never be buying this again. I actually have another one <laughs> to go through because I think at the start of Corona, I just like panic bought another one because I couldn't find any other bleach or like disinfecting product. And this one is disinfecting. So I have another one to go through. So can't wait for that. I made it about uh, 48 hours. <laughs> without giving into my Chipotle craving, which I would say is pretty good. Pretty proud of myself, it's better than usual. We've got a gourmet burrito bowl here with sofritas and then some queso, which I thought they discontinued for a minute, was real upset about it. They did not, it just wasn't available on DoorDash for a hot minute. Beautiful bag of chips, editing, making thumbnails, working, 
getting stuff done. Eating Chipotle. Main priority right now. Here's how the rest of this is going. I'm trying to film one of these videos, hopefully on the beach in Oregon, on the Oregon coast, if it's nice enough slash I can. So I'm bringing like all these things to film this video on the beach. I'm hoping that works out because I have like a vision for this video. So I have all of the makeup bags packed in here, just like everything separated out for the different videos, hair tools, a mirror is wrapped in here so that I can see myself while I'm filming. Oh, cameras would be good. I guess I need to pack cameras. Yeah, how about that? Um, laundry because my we're gonna be staying at my boyfriend's parents' house afterwards and we both bring a ton of laundry to do there <laughs> every time, which won't be a problem in the new place. So excited. Then I'm bringing just a bunch of makeup for my boyfriend's mom and his grandma. We are seeing. By the way, I just got COVID tested beforehand. Negative. Here's a donate bag. I need to schedule a pickup. I have so many donations. I have that bag and then a couple others. And nowhere here is like that I've found is accepting donations. So I need to find somewhere that can accept donations. I need to get my prescription. Up our tells in the morning. I also need to get my dad's birthday card. I need to get a couple of the videos filmed and edited while we're there, so I need to bring my laptop and hard drive. One of them is a brand video, so I have to get it sent over to them for approval while we're there. Wow, I was literally just about to say the dishwasher is going, so it's kind of loud, and then it just stopped. Thank you, dishwasher. I've been loving the e.l.f. CBD body cream. This smells so good. It smells like a spa. It's like a really nice herbal scent. It might be a little bit too grassy for some people. But this definitely has like a very earthy, like spa-like scent to me. But I just kind of like lather this guy on everywhere. I'm trying to be good about putting body cream on every time I get out of the shower. My other go-to is the La Roche-Posay Lip Cart Balm that I talked about in my September Raisin Rejects. This one isn't nearly as glowy. This one just kind of like absorbs into the skin right away, which is nice if you want one for just like you know, putting on and then getting dressed or something, and you don't really care about the glow. I wash my hair because I feel like whenever before I go on a trip, I just want like clean hair, you know? And I'm gonna put in some curl products. So whenever I do my hair wavy or curly, I like to leave it like as wet as possible. I've just like squeezed it out. I'm gonna put in my Briogeo Color Me Brilliant Protect Primer. I love this stuff, almost out of it clearly. And I just put this on the very top to help with like the frizz and this stuff smells so, so good. Okay, my towel's about to fall down. I guess I do bring whatever's left over down, but the majority of it I focus on the top and like sides. I've been really liking this stuff that I showed in my last vlog, the Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. It does leave your hair really soft, so if you hate like the crunchy curls, you might really like this stuff, but today I'm also gonna try it with the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Haven't tried this stuff yet, so I'm gonna apply both of these and then I use my Perfect Hair Care Towel. Just like plop it all on the top and then leave it in here for as long as possible before bed. Sometimes I sleep and it just depends on if I can get comfortable or not, but. This was the next morning. I didn't love the curling custard thing. It just made my hair look like too jelly and crunchy and stuff, but I do really love the other Miss Jessie's thing on its own. So I probably wouldn't use the curling custard again. So I also finished up this. This is another empty is the Wilderness Old Spice. Doesn't smell anything like lavender. Don't let it fool you. Smells amazing. So this is an empty, but then I went in my deodorant stash thing to, uh, find my next one. These are all of the ones I accidentally ordered <laughs> when Amber was getting discontinued. These are Amber, but they're all the gel version and I can't use gel deodorants. They like make me sweat more for some reason. So I'm giving my boyfriend all these because he doesn't mind gel deodorants. So those are all gels, but then look at what I found. <laughs> I'm so excited. I still have two of the old Ambers that were discontinued. This is a great day to be alive, folks. So I have two left ever, and then I'm officially fully out. You are beautiful. I miss you. I'll miss you forever.